feels you might like glad the, that thing's that far away. Yeah, me too. The fastest snakes there are. Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you guys doing today? We are bright than I thought we were gonna be. There we go. I'm here with my brother-in-law Justin. It's going. And my buddy Matt. We're gonna check out prehistoric pets from downtown for Christmas and it's always a fun time with Jay. There's always something happening that's different and something exciting to be had here. So we're gonna check it out. Let's go inside. <laughs> Gonna show us a couple of his favorite retics. I don't know about favorites, oh, but come on. a couple in the couple in the woe zone. How about that? Favorites, a big word around here. But uh, check out the color on this orange. Oh, look at that! See you guys. I just got I just got done putting the color on this one. It rubbed off on that one. Check it out. <laughs> if you think I'm serious, share this video. This one here is uh, grumpy. I haven't had this. I haven't had orange ghost stripe my collection long enough, so it's first generation for me. And I uh, haven't got my all my tame jeans in this one. But look at the spots, beautiful neck. Look at the color, the head, that albino is just glowing. No sun in this snake at all. But yet it'll rival any sun orange ghost stripe, just about. Look at that. That's just straight orange ghost stripe? Yeah. No it, way. Uh, okay, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> I do that sometimes just for fun. I mean, I want to keep it real. So I don't want you guys thinking, look at this guy. That is a sunfire, uh, if I remember right. <laughs> Let me look. <laughs> Sunfire anthrax mochino. And this cow that I was kidding about having the color wipe off on it, we believe is a citron cow. And that has nothing to do with that orange. That orange is just a paradox that happened to this particular snake. And it is cool. It's really cool. But anyway, there's some beautiful snakes right there. We're gonna make some cool stuff with them as the game plan. What do you guys think? Which is your favorite out of these three? You gotta tell us below. <laughs> Otherwise we won't know. Come on guys, <laughs> what's taking you so long? <laughs> you got a favorite? Okay guys, so I got a question for you. If you follow me and you've seen my videos, do you like my edited videos or my non-edited videos? Let me know. My vote is for non-edited, he knows that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he's gonna chop the heck out of this just so he can even post it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, well, this is the one segment I'm not gonna chop at all. <laughs> I'll throw, some in, I'll, I'll throw in some little macro shots and B-roll shots. But. What's your favorite animal here? Uh, probably Frank. Frank? Mm hmm Okay. Are you pulling him out right now? Yep. Or you are? Mm hmm Oh, sweet. I don't got food. I got no food for you, bud. Matter of fact, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call and find out. They might do it right now. Aggressive food and behaviors. Look, this is my hand, but you don't even know it, do you? Huh? You still think it's food, don't you? Huh? Everybody always wants to eat huh? my microphone. It's okay, <laughs> Frank. Everybody wants to eat this thing anyway. I, I sometimes think it is.
like a 91 year old lizard in lizard years. So it's, that's old. It's more like I thought about. It. I told them eight brothers and sisters, but it's more like 12 brothers and sisters of all passed away from old age, and he's the only he's the only one still kicking. Wow. With his little bit of arthritis and his little bit of this and a little bit of that, but he's still just good. He still likes people. And he still likes to be held and. He, and uh, he still likes to swim and he still likes to chase his food. So I don't see any reason why I would not want to continue to let him live his dream. This is, this is one of the two that came from Tom, right? Did you get both of them? I got four. You got four of them. Well, you, got the two, you got the two rhinos and yeah. the two? Huh. So if you guys watch... Hold on, I don't even know if my key works. We're gonna have to get Laura. <laughs> so if you guys watched the videos last week in Florida of Tom Cushfield packing up that Gaboon Viper and the Rhino Vipers, this is one of the Gaboons. He was shipping it to Jay. I didn't even realize he was shipping it to Jay. But, <laughs> but it's cool, I gotta have it. <laughs> <laughs> so Jay's gonna pull it out though. This is gonna make my day right here. I personally have very little experience handling venomous snakes. I've held some rattlesnakes and whatnot. Not nearly enough to where I feel comfortable handling them myself. I like all of my limbs and fingers and my life, so I'm not going to be handling this snake myself. But maybe someday. But a gaboon I don't think is a good way to start for a beginner, right? Would you say a gaboon? What do you think? Gaboon? No? Yeah. Yeah. No go on the gaboon for beginner venom guy. I'll probably never actually keep venomous snakes myself. It's just too much of a uh, risk, I think. I'm playing with death every day. This one's so deadly, they don't even know if they wanted me to have a key. What's up with that? <laughs> it's probably smart. The reason why it's so deadly isn't so much that it's so deadly, it's that the antivenom can be very hard to get. The antivenom has to be flown in from a, another location, not far, but far enough to where if you get bit by a rattlesnake, every hospital's got it. You get on the phone, you call 911, you go through the procedures that we have in place, and realistically, you're probably gonna be in pretty good shape. This dive, by the time everything all lines up, it could go wrong, and I don't want it to go wrong, and I don't even want to get bit. So I'm gonna carefully pull it out, and uh, I'm actually gonna to have to grab Craig. He was supposed to grab a temp gun, so I need to get behind the glass in order to get the temps and all that. So, Brian's here, he's my bro, so we're getting it out. And I got a key. This here is kind of an emergency tool. Uh, it works great if you don't know how to handle venomous snakes. Get one of these about yay long and it's great for getting a rattlesnake off your property because you don't have to know how to handle a snake because you should never ever 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 handle a venomous snake really and uh, so if you really need to get something off your property and you want to be a responsible human being get a long pair of tongs and uh, don't don't ever use a snake hook uh, it's, it's not so much how long it is rest how you use it well it's how long it is <laughs> don't let them kid you <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going to take this big girl and I'm going to pull her out. Now, she's a really big, fast animal, so the idea is that on venomous snakes, I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I can see she would want to come this way, so I'm going to keep this hook over on that side. So you can see that she's absolutely beautiful. And I just want to bring her out. I want to check the temp with my number one thing. And look what I got. Look, look, guys without coming too close. Remember I told you that there was one hiding? How's that for deadly? You wouldn't even know that snake was there. You could go clean the whole cage, did everything, and boom! There's the male hiding right there, just buried right there. Is that incredible or what? Funny part is people used to call these rhino, rhino vipers too, but it's a gaboon viper, but see, look at the, look at the horns. They're really incredible. They, they actually sport some of the largest fangs of any venomous snake and I'll tell you it's debatable whether these are actually the heaviest snake in the world because I've seen a giant one that I think would outdo the record the record size one. The, the Eastern Diamondback is supposed to be the heaviest snake. I gotta turn my silly phone off. Here take this would you? Tell Sivash I'm on the phone give me a minute. <clears throat> so there you go look at him crawling, crawling along like a caterpillar using his serpent movement taking his rib cages and literally just walking like this on the with his rib cages and it's it's pretty incredible watching him serpentine that way look how straight he is too these are known to like 
walk really the walk really straight. That's pretty funny. They're known to crawl really straight, and they're known to be really beautiful. I mean, look at the gorgeous. This the back's a little bit dirty. Looks like it can use a little bit of washing, but look at the color up here. And he's out for a walkabout. <laughs> So. That is really creepy looking. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? It's, it's moving like a caterpillar. Not yeah, like... no, it literally looks like, a, it even looks like a giant caterpillar. Caterpillars are, a lot of them are really colorful to look, you know, venomous. Well, this one's really colorful to look venomous. <laughs> I've, no nev plot. I've never actually gotten to see a Gaboon Viper crawl like that. It really does. It looks like a caterpillar crawl and not like a snake. <laughs> so is that incredible or what? Whoa, it feels... You, I'm like glad the, that thing's that far away because yeah, these are too. the fastest snakes there are. I told you that I need you to keep plenty of safety and you are. It feels like the roughest rattlesnake ever. Hey, you see the red tongs? No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. You're going to stay over there. And Brian, you stay over there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, go away. Oh, yeah, now you eat them in two seconds, huh? Well, I'm gonna, I think before things get too crazy, I'm gonna put my tongs over there. And uh, what do you think? Really cool. Okay. I'm gonna bust cool. out the macro lens and get I some. Got your, I got your uh, temp gun. Well, that was an awesome time. Always a great time down here, Jay. Thank you so much for having us. Um, if you are one of the rare people on YouTube that has found Reptile Channels and has not found Jay's channel, his link will be in the description. Thank you again, Jay, for having us. Always a great time, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the live stream. Nope, it's Friday. Just kidding. Bye.